everybody and welcome to Trade with Precision a free newsletter. My name is Tamara Mayer. Now we've got a lot of news coming through this week. We are expecting uh, the speech from Theresa May that's probably going to affect the FX market, going to affect the pound. We also have the inauguration coming on at the end of this week. Again, could affect the FX market, could affect the index market as well. So what I want to do today, I want to actually take a look at a couple of commodities market in particular the soya bean product because I want to talk about the higher time frame the level that they sit right now and my plan to look at this product as they move through those levels of support and resistance that I'm watching quite closely so let's start with soybean itself and looking here at the monthly chart what we can spot is that we were in a downtrend but we actually bottomed down here around the 850 we found quite good support. Now we went up, we made a higher high and this turned up into a higher low. So the monthly chart does look quite bullish at the moment. However, we can spot here there is a level in and around where we're sitting right now. If we go down into the weekly chart, we can spot that level quite clearly. Let me just zoom out a bit. You can see it sits here around the 1050, 1060 area. Uh, we're very very close into that level. We came at it before. We are in an uptrend on the weekly chart. We made a higher high and we fell down almost into the previous low, but not yet. So we're still in a higher low over here and charging up again into this level. If we break this level and continue higher, it will be a continuation of the uptrend on the weekly chart. And looking here on the daily, well, the daily doesn't have a really nice trend. We can see that we found good support around the thousand area. There's also the level around the 1030. And now we're coming up into this 1060. We are overextended. The moving averages has just moved into the correct order for an uptrend, but we haven't yet cleared an uptrend on this time frame. But if we switch into the four hours as an example, we can see that the four hours has started a new uptrend. Again, we are overextended. So I'm looking for a pullback into the buy zone and a move away. But really what I want to see is a break of this 1060. And then I will start to look for bullish opportunities on this market. Quite similar is soya bean meal. So let's take a look first of all on the monthly. And you can see here on the monthly, we bottom down down around this area, we made a higher high, we pulled back, made a higher low, broke the high of this bullish candle, and now we're moving further higher. We can also spot there's a bit of a level just above us. It's a little bit hard to see here on the monthly chart. So let's look at the weekly chart. And looking here at the weekly chart, you can see around this uh, 33 area, there is a couple of touches in the past. And currently we broke above it, uh, but we sort of uh, started to pull back. The market was closed yesterday uh, to Martin Luther King's day. This is uh, still the close of Friday. So we haven't had a new weekly candle yet. So what I look to in this time frame, or actually in this market, I'm looking for a pullback into the buy zone and a continuation of that move. We can see that the uptrend in this case in the four hour chart is looking quite lovely. Uh, looking at the daily chart, just to summarize, it's the same as what we've seen on soy. We uh, bottomed down over here around this 31 level and we just pushed higher. So no real uptrend on the daily, but the moving averages already are in the correct order for an uptrend. And lastly, let's take a look at soybean oil. This one is a little bit different. Let's move here into the weekly. So the weekly in this case is in an uptrend. We pull back into the buy zone. We actually had two bearish candles in this buy zone, but then a break above it with a rejection. So let's take a look how it looks like on the monthly. Now on the monthly, what we've got is an uptrend and a pullback into the buy zone. Now there is a level that this market find a little bit harder uh, to break through around this 36 area. And we actually rejected the break above it. So the story on soybean oil is a little bit 
different. We've got a beautiful uptrend and a pullback, but currently, as of last week, we rejected the break higher. So I'll be looking for long trading opportunities on this market, only above that strong level of support and resistance. So I would like to see, actually in all cases, I'd like to see a break above those strong level and a close above it, so not a rejection like we have over here, and then a pullback to test it from above and a continuation of that move. So this is my plan for the soybean product. Now, we do have some fantastic webinar for you in the next couple of weeks. We are celebrating our 10 years anniversary and we're doing that in style. So we've got a couple of really interesting topic coming up. So on Tuesday, the 17th of January at 8 p.m. Auckland, we're going to talk about the Dow. Is it going to be a bull trap or just the start of another bull run? We know that the Dow is sitting at 20,000 or in and around that level is a big psychological level level where to for that index from there and also we do have on Wednesday the 18th of January 2017 at 8 p.m. London we're going to talk about multiple markets multiple time frame how we can maximize our trading opportunities in 2017 using multiple time frame so register to these webinars they are absolutely fantastic have a great trading week and I'll speak to you soon